Now, you see what sort of investment we have to make to make our videos? A new tripod, wonderful it is, and a new camera. Well, look at that. That's a little beauty, isn't it? Well, I'm just going to whip that off because that's not the subject of this video. That'll be the subject of another one in the future. Well, here we have it, the Dynasun uh, EL9901. It's, I think, super, but we'll look at that in a minute. And there is a very, very similar one. Oh, by the way, this one's 163 pounds. There is a very, very similar one on Amazon called Camlink TV, TPV Video One. And it looks exactly the same and is slightly cheaper. Now, what do the legs cost? The feet, I think, were an extra 30 pounds. Pretty good deal, and nice if you've got a, a flat floor in your studio, you can move it around very nicely. Well, let's have a look at the head. Um, that very simply tightens the friction on the pan on the tilt. Uh, we've got two handles; they can be adjusted independently. Um, I've got them at different heights because if I pull one way or pull the other, I prefer, <laughs> strangely enough, I prefer one iron. Um, it turns beautifully. Very, very good. It's got the quick release head on it. Uh, it's also got uh, a leveling ball there, which uh, is good. And it, okay, it's not the ultra fluid head where it's actually got oil in etc this one has just got very good friction control and that's what makes it nice is being able to do it with both hands so you can get quiet and smooth movement with it i'm very pleased with that it also has under here something you can undo so you can adjust the head independently to the spirit level that's on it to make sure the head is dead center and the legs, of course, in that case, don't have to be exactly the same height. Well, this is where you adjust the legs. Very, very simple. And you just pull them up, undo it, and pull them up. Or uh, pull them up from there, or just put a weight on it, and they'll go down. I think they're great. It's anodized metal, these legs, um, so I'm told, and these locks do lock on. You don't have to force them. They're beautifully locked when they're just closed like that. Now the wheels, they work just by pulling out this uh, little clip and then they fold up very nicely. And you do that with the other side as well. So that folds beautifully. It's not heavy. Very good. Now these two little connections, that you press to release it and that you press to add it. Now it's so simple and I think it's a very good system because it's very easy to set with your foot like that. So there we have it. Very nice. Now I'm wondering whether I'm not going to use this as well for my still camera because it moves about and it's so much easier than, than uh, playing around with a, a standard tripod because of that. I mean I do like it, it flowing very nicely and being able to place it like that. I think that's great. So it's much nicer than one of those tripods you have to wind up things and undo things. I might, might well use it for my normal camera. Well, let's sum it up. Four and a half kilos, the whole thing without the dolly, of course, without the wheels. It all goes in the bag without the wheels. It goes to one meter 40 high. Do I like it? Well, I think you know I do. So, bye!